rate cuts are imminent buy small and mid cap stocks now hey i'm luke downey going over our latest insights at map signals you know we have been pounding the drum on small and mid cap stocks for a long time today we're going to show you some really cool data of why you want to own these as the fed starts cutting interest rates so let's start out with november we all know and we have proved that september is the worst month for stocks 2024 is falling into that regime. We can see that all major S&P indices are lower. You can look at major index returns. They are all down. So if you're looking at your portfolio, stocks are down, join the party. But you don't want to be getting sad because this pullback is going to be a fantastic opportunity. And if we roll back the tape and we talk about the biggest rotation that has hit markets over the past two months, it really started with the June CPI report that came out on July 11th. It basically gave the green light to the Fed to start cutting rates. And why this is important is big cap tech has been for sale. In fact, over two months, it's down 7.5%. But what has been gaining small and mid cap stocks we're going to get into why they are booming right now as the crowd love tech is going lower so the first thing we want to start by looking at is the expected eps growth rates for the major s p benchmarks this is critical listen if earnings are growing stock prices are going to fall if we look at 2025 estimated growth rates compared to 2024 the s p is expected to grow earnings 15 percent the mid cap a touch more at 16.4 percent and the mighty small cap 600 nearly 19 percent eps growth so listen Wherever the fastest growth is going, that is where you're probably going to get some good bang for your buck. But we need to go into why earnings are expected to grow so much more for small caps. And it comes down to interest coverage. So this is basically a measurement. So you're looking at EB, EBIT, EBIT divided by interest expense to really give you an idea of how many times can you cover your interest expense. The S&P 500 can cover its interest expense nearly eight times, okay? So you hear about these pristine balance sheets of some of these mega cap tech names. Um, you look at the mid cap and it drops to 3.77 and you look at small cap 600, it's only at 2.3. So what does this tell you? There's a lot more leverage that is going on. There's more interest expense in the small cap and mid cap arena. So as rates fall, who do you think benefits more? Whose earnings are going to explode more as their debt service charge goes down? Of course, it's going to be the cyclically charged areas like the small and mid caps that is where you want to be beating your portfolio drums but i got a cool study for you and this is looking at the forward returns for the s p small cap 600 when that interest expense ratio is below 2.6 so again remember we're talking about 2.34 is where we are now check out the forward returns you can look at the small cap 600 one month later it's up 2.6 percent three months later it's up nearly eight percent six months later and 12 months later it's up double digit market beating returns so again having this low coverage ratio is telling you that it's probably going to expand in the future and that just means more earnings but i've got another one for you you got to look at the mid cap. So this is looking at the same framework forward returns when mid cap 400, when that expense ratio is 3.8 or lower like it is right now. This is the juice. Three months later, the group is up two and a half percent. Six months later, it's up 5.8%. 12 months later, it's up 15.2%. This is all about earnings exploding in some of these awesome awesome areas that benefit when rates are going lower so now let's look at what areas have been booming where are institutions making bets and we're looking at all of the buys in our data since july 10th you're talking about two months of data 21.6 percent of all the buys have been in financials right number two is in healthcare a lot of dividend growth in healthcare real estate remember how people hated real estate is one of the best performing sectors recently 
13% of all buy signals are in real estate. You got 10% in technology, really in the value uh, area of technology. And that is telling you where you want to be focusing. Focus on small caps, focus on mid caps, focus on dividend growth areas, because as rates come down, all those interest expenses are going to come down and earnings are going to surge. If you wanna get some great stock ideas from some really awesome research, sign up for map signals now is a great time as the fed starts to cut rates you want to be loaded in some of the best stocks out there i will see you guys next time